Got out of uh, Purdue in 89, jumped in the Camaro and got down there as fast as I could, uh, straight into a flight control position for the space shuttle. It was called INCO, uh, Instrumentation and Communications Officer. So I was going to effectively be in charge of all the communications from the shuttle to the ground um, and all the commanding up to the vehicle. Um, so I walked in first day, of course, fully excited, right? Um, they show me to my desk and it was stacked full of binders like this. I mean stacked. So, you know, probably 30 of these things on my desk. They said, hey, go ahead and read that, get that done. Um, and we'll talk to you at the end of the week. And of course, by lunchtime, they told me it was a joke. It was actually a structured plan, et cetera. But that's how I got, <laughs> got my first day in uh, as a flight controller. But seriously, there's a lot of information. You've got, you've got to be the technical expert at that discipline. So you have got to know. So for me, it was a communications hardware. I had to know that inside and out. And then um, it's a structured training path to get used to how do you operate a, in a real-time console environment. That's not, it's not something you're born with. You have to learn it. And then there's certain skill traits, soft skills required to actually be successful doing that. Not anybody can just plug in and, and be a real-time operator. Um, so there's a dedicated path to do that. So, so first you do a lot of book work, then you do kind of mini, mini simulations, kind of standalone training sessions, and then you get to the point where you're actually running a full up simulation in a room like behind me where you got the whole shuttle team around you and you are doing your part at your console with your responsibilities as part of that overall team. Um, so that whole process to get my first certification probably took about a year. Um, and that's a backroom certification. The position I was in had one front room position like you see behind me and then three backroom positions. So I had to work my way through each backroom position to get an opportunity to get to the front room, the main control room. And that took probably about four or five years. Um, so that's kind of how I got to be a flight controller and got out to the front room. Um, and I, I got every certification you can get in that group, um, orbit, ascent entry, in the back and the front room. So, and then 87 some shuttle flights I supported as a flight controller. Yeah. All right, I applied several times to be flight director. I got in on the third try. Um, very, very competitive um, process to, to be selected, very similar to astronaut selection. Um, so I got, I actually got through that in 2008. And so I became a flight director in 2008. So that makes it what, 11 years? 11 years of flight director, so, um, but amazing. So I was actually brought in to be a space station flight director when I first stepped in the flight director office. Uh, shuttle was still flying. We were finishing up building the station, um, but it had a declared your ending once the space station assembly is complete, and then we're going to work on the future stuff. So as I was doing my training to be a station flight director, Several shuttle flight directors uh, left the office for numerous reasons, right? Um, so all of a sudden we were short and they said, Gary, with your background, shift gears, become a shuttle flight director as fast as you can and let's fly out the shuttle program, which I did. Um, amazing, I got to be a flight director for five of the last six shuttle flights and I was the lead flight shuttle flight director for the second to last mission, so it was awesome. And then, obviously, after the retirement of the shuttle, I became a space station flight director. I've been doing that ever since. Um, I'm still actually a station flight director, but I'm leading our exploration initiatives for the future to get back to the moon and beyond. So I'm doing a lot less console work, but a lot more future work. So it's been a great, great ride.